what's up everybody, my name is Elnor Jang and today I'm doing a review of the one and only Wotencraft Commander. I'm super super stoked to show you this bag and what it's all about because I've used it for roughly over a month now I took it on day trips, I took it on overnight trips and the more I look at it, the more I use it, the more I'm impressed so let's just start with the basic fabrics it's pretty much like the Avenger I showed you last time this is PU coated Kudura fabric which means it's lightweight, it's water resistant and it's abrasion resistant and you can also see there's a large amount of cowhide leather used throughout this bag not only in the front, uh, not only in the straps in the front but also the straps that are going to be on your shoulders in the back so you can see these are all reinforced you know on the top and the, at the bottom and the coolest part is they even used cowhide leather in the bottom so when you chuck your bag on the ground it's going to be okay because this is actually really really tough just listen to this you hear that? super super tough the commander is made up of two sections the top section and the bottom section and how you access the top section is by pulling these two straps i mean even though they didn't market this bag as an anti-theft bag but because of these two straps i think it's quite anti-theft and now we can access the top compartment just like most of their bags they've got the four magnets buried at the top simply because you can do more customization when you want to pull out the camera insert and when you pull out the camera insert, you zip this bag up together, the magnets can suck themselves up, and now you instantly have a smaller bag. Now let's talk about the camera insert. This is made up of high density foam, which means you can put around two to three lenses in here and don't really have to worry about them clashing together or being damaged. It does come with a few uh, you know, paddings like this, which you can customize to your liking. Now before I get into the bottom section, I want to talk about this pocket here. You can see it's actually quite big. They've made it so big, that I can put my 50ml water bottle in here, which I appreciate so much. I don't want to put my water, water bottle with my expensive gear. And this is big enough to hold this kind of stuff. Now it's time to talk about my favorite section of the bag, which is the bottom compartment. You can access it via these two pockets here, which means when the bag is actually on your back, you have to put it on the ground. You can just sling it over your shoulder like this. And put your hand in here. Over here you can see a T-shaped padding. You can take it out just like the camera insert if you want a bigger um, section of the bag. Now we're going to talk about the really really cozy laptop sleeve they made for this bag. I own a 13 inch MacBook Pro and look just how big this is. And if you look really closely at the padding, this part is around three centimeters and this one is one. So you have a total of four centimeters of high density foam protecting your laptop. Just like any good camera bag, you'll want some small pockets to put your little stuff like your batteries, your keys, your chargers. And in this case, the Commander's got three main pockets. One in the back over here. You can fit about, ooh, you can fit. This is where I put my batteries in. Um, and this you see here, it's actually not a pocket. It's actually a direct access zip where you can put your hand into the top compartment. And the one, and the two on the right hand side are actually just pockets but this one you see here it can actually fit all the way to here so Wozencraft wasted no space when they're designing this bag every inch of this bag has its own use now I'm going to talk about my favorite feature of the bag it's very very small but once you notice it you're going to love it the problem that most backpack straps have is they use a mechanism that once a bag gets heavy or you use it for a long time, the straps actually become a bit longer than you actually need it to be. But what Wozencraft did was they used a belt mechanism and it will literally lock the straps to your favorite length. So it doesn't matter how, how hard you pull it or how heavy your bag is, this strap is just going to stay where it is, which essentially means it's more comfortable carrying your gear. This bag does have a little bit of weight to it, but I don't see it as a problem at all 
simply because of the high quality materials they use in this and how much protection your gear can get from this. I mean, there are so many times where my bag is filled with gear and I can just chuck it on the ground and I don't have to worry about it. Even if the fabric does get scratched, it actually makes the bag look better, which is, I know it, it sounds ironic, but it makes sense. Just like what I said in the beginning, I took this bag on day trips, on overnight trips, I took it on rainy days, sunny days, windy days, whatever days, and this bag held up perfectly. So my overall impression of this bag is, I cannot explain how much effort they put into designing and producing these bags. Bear in mind, these bags are not mass produced. So to some degree, each and every one of these bags are unique to you when you buy them. So if you are a photographer, a videographer, a creative of any sort, this is a bag for you. I'll link all the details below. If you've got any questions, you can email and ask them. Those guys at Words and Craft, they are top notch. I wholeheartedly recommend you go and check out these bags, all right? There's a dark side of me that I don't want you to know about this bag simply because I want it to be exclusive to me, but sharing is caring so all the details below go and check them out and tell me what you think and uh, i'll see you in the next video